Yo, what up? Welcome back to the F45A Masterclass. Today we're going to talk about laser guided bombs, but you know how it is. Before we get to the target area and we blow stuff up, I'll meet you in the cockpit and I'll show you how to get set up. Okay, what you need in the cockpit for laser guided bombs is honestly quite simple. It is the targeting pod. We are going to simply acquire a target with the targeting pod and we are going to make this soy. We'll move the, the pipper around. We'll grab that target and all we need to do is make sure that we keep that target in view of the targeting pod the whole time while the bomb drops. I'll explain more about laser guided bombs on the flight to the target area, so I'll see you once we hit the air. All right, I'll show you the launch queue while we're on our way to the target area. The target area is about 53 nautical miles away from us. On the HUD, we have two circles, the big circle and the little circle. The little circle is our like ideal launch for these bombs. Right now we're carrying two GBU-12s, which are laser guided bombs. As I mentioned on the ground, we need this targeting pod to be soy. Um, it might be beneficial for you to like pick a target with your head like this. And then we will drop the bomb and we will just make sure that the targeting pod constantly looks at the target area. And this is what guides the bomb onto its target. So when would I use laser guided bombs? The answer is if you're trying to hit a moving target, right? Maybe you have some vehicles that are driving down a road and you're trying to blow them up. Um, the laser guided bombs are the answer to that. The bomb is going to constantly track that laser and get its coordinates updated along the way. So therefore, if you need to blow up moving targets, laser guided bombs are the way to get that done. So this is going to climb up to about 15,000 feet here. Once we get closer to the targeting area, I'll join you back and we can drop some bombs. All right, while we're on our way, as we approach a good range to start thinking about blowing stuff up, I want to talk about configuration options for laser guided bombs, specifically the GBU-12. If you come into the SMS page and select it, you'll see there's two modes you can fire this from. The first being a laser mode and the second being a dumb bomb mode. In dumb mode, it operates just like a Mark 82. So if for any reason you want to lose your ability to, to target, designate with the laser, go ahead and turn that bomb into dumb mode. But for this purpose, we're going to leave it in laser mode. So that's pretty much your only option with the GBU-12. All right, we are getting close to the target. Let's kick the burner off. I'm going to hit head. And I am actually going to slave this over. And we are going to see our targets here. So I'm just going to simply select one of these targets. I have my laser on it. It's quite simple. I will be getting the standard shoot cue up here. A diamond is going to drop. Um, I'm even going to offset a little bit here. We'll turn the autopilot fully off. I'm going to offset just to make the orbit on this a little better. I don't want to offset too much. And I don't really care about a climb. There's our targeting diamond. So now I have a problem. The diamond is too far to the left, so I'm going to need to chase it over to the right. I am going to release the bomb. And now I'm simply going to make sure that I keep this in view. All right, I do not want to hit the gimbal limit. I am lazing the target currently. So I'm just going to kind of orbit around the best I can to keep that targeting pod right on that enemy at all times and eventually we will see a big old splash if i lose the guidance at any point in time then my bomb's not going to work and that's going to be the end of it so turning too hard um, and just ruining your gimbal limit will actually make your bomb miss there we go it succeeded so we can cycle back around we can pick a new target in this case, we'll pick this tent. Unless we have a moving target, let's check our objective. No, nope, they want bunkers. No moving targets, unfortunately. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick this tent. We are going to just turn the jet around. And uh, I'm going to miss on purpose this time for you. I'm going to laze the target um, by having it in the targeting pod. But after I drop the bomb, I'm going to completely break the view and you'll see that the bomb um, follows the laser I might even just pick a different target after we launch it so you can see it adjusting or I might break gimbal it just depends on what happens first so let's try that I'm gonna release the bomb boom and I'm actually gonna move to this so we released on this tent and now I have moved to 
this bunker here. And as long as I don't hit the gimbal limit, we should be able to like re-guide this bomb onto the new target. So that would simulate like if the target had moved, if it had like driven down the street on us. And if I do happen to hit gimbal limit, then it will simulate the fact that if you break the laser guidance, then the bomb stops working. But we're gonna do our best to keep it within the parameters it needs. Um, we're probably actually gonna break lock. There we go. We broke the lock, so we're actually most likely gonna miss. We'll see what happens. We got it back just in time. Good for us. But you'll see we ended up hitting this and not the tent that we originally picked. And this is because we changed targets. We moved the laser once the bomb was in flight. So you can kind of get the point on how, like, if we did that while a vehicle was moving, we could guide the bomb onto the vehicle. So there you have it. That's laser guided bombs in the F-45. If you like the series, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you feel about it. And uh, as always, we'll see you in the next one as we learn something else about this wonderful jet here inside of VTOL VR. We'll see you in the next one.